Hi, welcome. In this video, uh, I'm going to go through problem 18. And uh, in problem 18, um, if you've done BC calculus, then you might be able to try to use L'Hopital's rule. Or if you're an AB calculus, um, you know, uh, answer choice E is a very tempting answer choice. And this is why, right? Like, so from the onset, you probably would think uh, that you should do this, which is, right, lim is h goes to zero. And maybe you remembered your log rules and you saw the numerator as the following, which is the natural log of um, four plus h divided by four. And then you have all of this divided by h. And so then, you know, uh, when you plug in zero, you're gonna get ln of four over four um, divided by zero. And ln of four over four is ln of one, which we know is zero. Um, so then you would have gotten 0 over 0 because ln of 1 is 0. And maybe because you knew that this is an indeterminate form, you try to use L'Hopital's rule if, you, if you're in BC calculus. But all of that is unnecessary because um, if you just used um, this limit as h goes to 0 right here as your clue that this must ha um, necessarily have to do with the um, definition of a derivative, um, then you know maybe maybe that's all you needed to recognize which is recall right after your limits unit early in the year you must have learned that f prime of x could always be found albeit not always efficiently through this definition the limit is h goes to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h remember this always finds you the derivative um, for any x, in particular, because there are no x's in, in this um, expression there, uh, it must have been adopted um, to, to mean the, this definition of a derivative at a specific value of x, so at a point. So then we could adopt that definition at a point x equals a. So when x equals a, this definition turns to um, limit is h goes to zero of f of a plus h minus f of a all over h. Now, it is abundantly clear comparing this to this that the a value must equal four, right? And that f of x must equal ln of x. Then f prime of a must equal this expression, but that would mean f prime of four for the function f of x equals ln of x. I think we know how to do that much more efficiently. If f of x is equal to ln of x, then f prime of x is equal to one over x. So then since we said this whole expression is just asking for f prime of four, f prime of four must equal 1 over 4. Done. Ciao.